Even before he turned 10 years old, Michael Frank knew exactly what he wanted to do with his life. I remember reading the book as a little kid called Microbe Hunters. I really was inspired by the book. I wanted to become a medical researcher. Boy, did he ever. He became an internationally respected physician scientist, then came to Duke and turned the Department of Pediatrics into a nationally ranked entity and led the effort to build Duke Children's Hospital from the ground up. Born and raised in Brooklyn, Frank entered the University of Wisconsin at the Doogie Howser-esque age of 15. There, he discovered an interest in infectious diseases through microbial geneticist Joshua Lederberg, who went on to win the Nobel Prize. So he was a very impressive person. Frank earned a medical degree from Harvard, trained at Harvard and Johns Hopkins, and joined the National Institutes of Health in 1966. While there, as clinical director of the Allergy and Infectious Disease Program, Frank led the team that discovered the first effective treatment for hereditary angioedema, a life-threatening condition that causes swelling in the hands, feet, face, and airway. We asked all of the patients, how many members of your family have choked to death with this disease? And it was about 20%. So these people were terrified. And we were able to cure this disease in the vast majority of patients. After 24 years of leading pioneering research at the NIH, Frank was recruited to Duke by then chair of pediatrics, Samuel Katz, who handpicked him to be his successor. Sam is one of the most beloved pediatricians in America. I thought that, that uh, it was unlikely I'd ever be offered a better position, and so I took it. When he arrived at Duke, Frank had great passion, but that doesn't mean his vision for Duke was easily fulfilled. It was nerve wracking. I mean, the, the pressure was great. He knew he would require a lot of help from his assistants, so... When I was chairman for six months, I brought each of them a gift. I bought each of them a bottle of Maalox. Sure, there were times when we both felt like we needed to uh, take from the bottle at the same time, but it was, it was a pleasure working with him. He was very clear about his top priority. I said that the department mostly needs a building that's ours. I was told, ultimately, that if I raised the money, uh, we could have our building. So with Vice President of Pediatrics Tom Kinney and Vice President of Duke Health Development Stephen Rum helping to lead the charge, they secured the funds. We ultimately picked the architects and we ultimately got the children's building, which I'm very proud of. Duke Children's Hospital opened in May of 2000. Today, it is one of the foremost children's hospitals in the world. It is a top five pediatric surgical center in the nation and ranked second nationally in NIH research funding and serves more than 65,000 patients a year. Frank and his wife Ruth were married for 50 years when she died of cancer six years ago. He has three children and four grandchildren. There are two hobbies, he says, he wants to get back involved with. One is metalworking. The nice thing about metalwork is if you tr take a piece of steel and you heat it until it's white hot, you don't think about anything else. The other is taking multiple day bike trips. I'm actually working on getting back to it. When Ruth got sick, I stopped bicycle riding. He said he has no intention of ever riding his bike out of Durham for good, but he likely will ride down to Duke often where he has deep connections. Duke is a remarkable institution. Would I do anything different? No, I don't think so. I think I've had a great run. <laughs>